have also been a few setbacks this week. First, the decision from the FDA to postpone a meeting that was set for tomorrow regarding vaccines for children under five and a new study that shows the effectiveness of the booster shot wanes after four months, though it still offers protection. So here to share the details is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, good afternoon to you. Should people who were boosted be concerned about this latest data and maybe mentally preparing for the possibility of needing another shot? So, you know, I do want to point out that this study, Ryan, is just an early look at how effective Pfizer and Moderna shots were over a five month period. Now, here's what the researchers did, right? They analyzed over 241,000 visits to emergency or urgent uh, care centers, as well as 93,000 hospitalizations across 10 states. And they looked at folks who were boosted and those who were only fully vaccinated. And I'll break it all down. I'll start with the folks who are fully vaccinated and boosted, so three shots. Researchers found that vaccines to be 87% effective against emergency or urgent care visits during the first two months. That's good. But at four months, that number dropped to 66%. Now, regarding hospitalizations for people who were boosted, the vaccines were found to be 91% effective at two months. That's great. But that number dropped to 78% at the four-month mark. Now, not surprisingly, right, the numbers were lower for people who were uh, fully vaccinated, so two shots. Vaccine effectiveness uh, against hospitalization fell from 71% at two months to 54% by at least five months. So even though the vaccines wane, meaning they decrease in efficacy, they still offer pretty good protection at month four. All right, Doc, let's turn to the FDA now. COVID-19 vaccine authorization for younger children, six months to five years, that's been delayed. Why? So Pfizer initially right, filed with, uh, with the FDA the first week of, of February, and that was to review Pfizer's data regarding the two doses. But with Omicron spreading so quickly and infecting so many children, new data showed that many children in Pfizer's trials were getting infected at a higher rate than with Delta. It's not good news. This indicated that the Omicron variant is better at, at evading, right, at, at dodging the vaccine's two-dose protection, which wasn't that great to begin with for kids age two to four. Trials had shown it did not, I repeat, did not generate a very strong immune response for this age group. So the FDA agreed to wait and see how well three shots work against Omicron. This means more time is needed Pfizer said the earliest they'll have this data is in April. Now, I know this is not making some parents happy, but here's the thing, right? It's best to make sure that the vaccines generate neutralizing antibodies. And then it also shows that the FDA just doesn't mess around and approve anything that's given to them. They wait and make sure that it's efficacious and safe. To me, that actually makes me feel good. I'd like my two-year-old to be able to get this, but I'd rather make sure it's, it's, it's ready. In the meantime, parents like myself should continue with pandemic precautions and, and really protect our kids and our community. All right, Dr. Nandy, as always, grateful for your time and expertise. Thank you. Thank you, sir.